is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just caught a giant. Ah, oh, jeez, another one. Look at this fish, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Do you see this? Oh my goodness. See this? I always catch big muskie by myself. That might be bigger than the biggest one I caught. On an A-Rig again. Look at him, guys. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Looks like his tail's a little messed up. Come on, buddy. I know he's not done. <sighs> yeah, most people, I want to take pictures and all that, but we got to make sure this fish is all right. He's too big for the net. Oh my goodness, that fish is big. And he crushed it. I don't think I even have grippers big enough for this day, dude. I'm going to have to grab him with the scale just because they're metal grippers and they're bigger. I don't know how I'm gonna get this bait back. It is down his gullet. Oh, this guy's come out. Is he getting hooked even more? Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing is huge, dude. Damn. God, booty, dude. This other one, that's going to be tricky. I don't want nothing to happen to you, girl. Oh, man, that thing is down there, dude. And then this thing crashes again. Look at those teeth, dude. I don't want to get near this thing. Man, I don't have shit else. Dude, I've never seen such a fat fish before, dude. Like, I don't even think I can lift this thing out of here. Calm down, girl. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Open up. I'm gonna try to show you guys this freaking muskie. I don't want to do it this way. This thing's so big. Look at this muskie, dude. far the biggest fish I have ever caught. Oh my goodness, dude. There we go. There we go, girl. No, 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 no. Oh, gosh, she's free, dude. Oh, we got her free, dude. Oh my goodness, this fish is so big. All right, guys. We're gonna try to uh, tear the scare. Please don't die again. We're gonna try to tear this scale with him in the water floating. Dude, this thing is like 50 pounds. All right, here we go. Look at this fish, dude. Oh my God. 
This thing is 30 pounds. Oh, I saw it good at 25. Oh, still, she's all right. Yeah, she's still. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh There she goes. <laughs> dude, that was a 26, like, dude, it hit 26.3 or 20. Dude, can any, just please, like, any, my musky experts, <laughs> experts. Dude, that's this, dude, the A rig. You wanna catch big muskies? Throw the freaking A rig, dude. I made it off this shallow point. I'm not marking bass, but I'm marking bait. So I know something's gotta be around lurking. I knew it was a bass right away. It wasn't a bass right away. Dude, I swear every musky catch, like, it hooks me even more because that fight, and I'm sorry guys, I need to get more musky uh, uh, specific tools on here for as many musky as I catch uh, on this boat. I need to have at least like a better set of grippers, stuff so like, there, I, there's no way of harming them. I didn't even, you see, I didn't take no pictures. We had, that's why we have the cameras running. I wasn't trying to just do all that for a picture because that is a prehistoric freaking beautiful fish. I don't want anything to happen to that fish. I just wanted to document, we caught it. She's good. Did you see the chompers on that thing? Like I've never seen a gut, like she is out here eating, dude. I bet if I throw this again, like look what, look, look what she did. Like she had this one down her gullet and this one in her lip. It was like, sorry for my handling, but dude, like, when them teeth are right there, she's thrashing, it's like, dude, I got these little pliers, I gotta get my hands in there, but no matter what, it would, I would have did it, because like that, I was not gonna let anything happen to that fish, but, man, <laughs> I'm still like, hey, like, that makes the whole day worth it, like, that is my PB musky by far. I don't know what that thing, that, it's gotta be what, at least 38, 40, like my, my first musk I ever caught, you guys saw the video on here, it was great, and it's awesome, but it like, you guys gotta tell me, please get in the comments, whatever, the, wherever I post this, and please give me your best guess, you're my musky experts, freaking uh, Ryan Reed, I need to hear from you, uh, I can't forget my other man's name, he has, I know you, I feel bad you get sick with cancer, I, know, I just can't, your name's not, I'm blanking, but you're another musky expert, Mr. Swearingen. Guys, please let me know what, if anything I did super wrong, and what do you think? That fish, she, the scale was tipping 26. I didn't get a great tear, so she's probably more than that, but did you see, oh my goodness. Well, I am so grateful for that fish, but please let me know what you think the measurements are, because that's by far my PB musky. Even, even if it's the same length as my first one, that first one was nowhere near, I could barely lift that thing out the water, dude. And I ain't no chump, I know I'm little, but I used to build pool tables for a living. So it's like, I, I can carry some heavy shit. That thing was, that echo. Oh man, I gotta, I'm gonna still throw this. We gotta see if we can bend this back, change the, a bait out, and I'm probably gonna retie cause she's all crispy here now. But man, that fish bit in like six, seven feet of water, just off a shallow bank here and just, oh. Goodness, dude. I love how much you eat. Like, that hook was so down in there. Either. <laughs> Dude, let me take another. Is this a pike or a muskie? 
Got another muskie, dude. Muskie number two. Caught on a blade bait. Come here, little guy. Ah, uh, you're gonna get much more, but how are you? Oh, that thing was fighting. Come here, girl. and welcome back talk about a killer video man if you liked it make sure to hit the like button but man talk about luck dude i am so almost knocked over all my rods but talk about freaking blessed or lucky whatever you want to call it man i don't know if i mentioned but i've never targeted musky and to to catch such a giant freaking dinosaur of a fish is to not be targeting it is just crazy like i was targeting those big lethargic you know winter transition bass they like to sit on bottom they want an easy meal so that's why i was throwing the a rig but i mean the other one even uh ate a um blade bait which is i kill with bass in the winter and the funny thing is that i didn't catch a single bass but the muskie were out eating hopefully you guys liked the video but yeah like you guys saw i'm never freaking prepared just like the other muskie video i'm never really prepared uh when i catch a muskie which i need to be even though i'm not targeting them um that's why i use the metal grippers on the scale that i have instead of my smaller rapala grippers which are plastic and they don't harm the fish as much it's just that fish was so big and his teeth like my hand both my hands would have been in my mouth i already had to stick one in his mouth i know that's not an excuse but i the fish seemed pretty good uh the things didn't puncture his mouth but like I said, I did do some research and the, the crazy thing about it is like 90% of the companies that like make bigger fish grips, they're, they're all like metal. Like even when I put in musky fish grips, like 90% of them are metal. So I think I'm just going to get the bigger version of the ones I got now. The Rapala is the plastic, so we'll at least be able to handle the musky a little bit better. I mean, for how fragile and finicky of a fish it is, it's definitely beneficial to take all the precautions i can to make sure those fish survive like i said both those fish seem pretty healthy i kept the one in the water the whole time just because of how big it was i didn't want to waste any time getting pictures or putting it on the the deck of the boat and hurting its slime coat so i just want to make sure we got a good look at that fish so <laughs> so i was able to respect that fish go back and, and see it look at this video i mean it was just such an awesome experience when that fish ate i could tell like as soon as he ate that bait he did like a 90 degree turn and started going the other or a 180 not 90 he did like a 180 it was just like when he first bit it was like a wall i could not move him and that was like that's an eight foot rod that's freaking extra heavy or 7-eleven but basically eight foot but yeah guys it was, let me know what you think um I'm, if you figure, I'm about 70 inches or so. So uh, my best guess with the weight, I mean, that fish was between 25 and 30 pounds. So I want to say like right around 45 inches, 43, 45 inches. I don't know. Let me you know what you guys think in the comments. 
just give me a guesstimate what you think that fish might have weighed or might or how musky they do length. So, and 50 is a trophy fish. To me, that was a trophy fish. I know it wasn't 50 inches, but she was as thick as a log, dude. Like, I have never caught a freshwater fish that big. I'm super lucky. I definitely need to be better prepared in 2023. Hopefully, like I said, you guys liked the video. If you were not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come join us over here on the BNB channel. Join the BNB fam and be a part of the BNB way. Because y'all know what it is. If we ain't fishing, we bitching. Because bassing is our passion, baby. Let's go. We'll see you on the next one. I was. This video took longer because I'm busy at work. It took longer to edit, but I'm working on a killer downtown Pittsburgh, a Smalley video. It's about halfway done, so stay tuned. Like I said, make sure you subscribe so you can catch that, and uh, see you on the next one. <laughs>